Hey. And we're here to talk about To Hell and Back, which is a documentary. About my life, about yes. About your life. To yeah. Hell and Back. It has felt like that back in the day, so. Is this your first fight first? Oh, no. no. I've been here before, but it's been a few years. I think I was here in maybe 12 or 13, something like that. I always love it here. It's a lot of fun, a lot of fans, and some good films. Are you excited to have your documentary shown here? Of course, yeah. This is, uh, we just did the world premiere screening. The first audience, public audience to see it. So it was pretty exciting. And do you think it was received as well as you hoped? I think it was. Yeah. You know, I can't say for sure because uh, it's my story, so I can't really watch it objectively, but I hope it, it was well received. Um, you're also here for Hatchet, right? Mm -hmm. I won't talk too much about that, but how does it feel to have two big show networks? I, feels, I, have, I think it's a big honor. First of all, to have one film included is exciting, and then when they told me the second one was going to be here, I was like, I had to cancel another appearance to be here because it was, I couldn't miss that. My name is Derek Dennis Herbert, and I'm the director producer of To Hell and Back, The Kane Hodder Story. Wow. This is, a, this is an awesome project. How did you get involved with it? Well, I, I saw Kane's uh, story both in short like YouTube videos as well as the fact that he did, um, he wrote the wonderful book, Unmasked with Mike D'Aloisi, and I, was, I thought it was a great human interest story yeah. as well as one that appealed to the horror community, and I really wanted to do something that was that I was passionate about, and this film is one that I was. I really enjoyed it. And are you happy with the way it turned out? I, I always thought I would want to do a director's cut of this movie, yeah. but I feel so happy with the way that our editor, Mike Hugo, and I were able to put this movie together, that this is the director's cut, this is the only cut. We'll have a bunch of bonus features on the DVD and Blu-ray and stuff, yeah. but I love the way this came out. I mean, the audience said it alone when they were cheering and crying and laughing. This film, it, it's, it's, I, I think it's as close to perfect as you can get in the time that was, you know, is a lot. That's always the best yeah. result, in my opinion. At some point you have to stop or the film just kind of yeah. gets away from it's you and 40 years fun. later you're still working on one movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I know how that feels. Um, is this your first Fright Fest? This is my first Fright Fest, but I have, it was always my top choice to be the world premiere because I've heard of it obviously through Adam Green and Joe Lynch who are also our colleagues. We definitely wanted to get a lot of the same energy that they had and Fright Fest was and is such a big part of their careers that we, when we got in, it was a no-brainer. It was like, we have to be at this festival, we have to meet these wonderful fans, wonderful people who run it. Uh, and everyone's been lovely the whole time. And upon arrival, do you think that was the best choice? What? The On, upon arrival when you got here? Yes, yes, yes. When yeah. I got here I knew it was the right choice. <laughs> We'd come to drop off some posters uh, for the uh, for the event and we came in when they were setting up all these the media wall and all the like the bleeding columns and everything and I said to my cinematographer we're home, we're at the place that this film was meant to live. Because you guys get it. You yeah. guys are, live, sleep and breathe horror. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I get from every time I come here, as always. And I, I hope to come back many times. We have two new projects we're working on. Uh, one that's a, a home invasion movie called They're Inside. Yeah. Uh, and the other one is, the un, uh, just announced tonight, is an untitled uh, documentary about Adam Green and his passion for Hollister. Nice. I'm hoping you do come back, definitely, <laughs> that'd be wicked. Are you hanging around for anyone else's movies? Yes, we're seeing quite a few other movies. Obviously, we have to hang out for Kane and Adam Green's Victor Crowley, yep. which I'm so pumped is announced, and not just to be hidden behind, because I've known for a little bit, just because of obviously being the doc, but, um, and being Kane being so proud of it, but they kept it secret for so long. I'm seeing that, we're seeing Better Watch Out. Um, I saw Leatherface. I'm, I'm seeing, trying to, and several more. I'm, I'm definitely seeing quite a few films while I'm here. There, I mean, you guys curated such a great collection of films. Oh, the producer. That seems like such a difficult job. So important, right? <laughs> <laughs> was it? Uh, it was it was a lot easier on this film than I think I was expecting. Yep. Uh, Kane is a very caring person. He's a very open person. and. 
frankly, people love uh, love him and they love working with him. So asking people to get involved in this film, everyone jumped at it, and it, it really went very smoothly. I think the hardest part of the film was trying to edit down his story into the the runtime that we were able to get it to. Oh, that's really cool. Is this your first fight fest? This is my first fight fest. Yeah, it's my first time in London in general too. So wow, that's I know cool. I, I went with a big bang. So. Wow. Are you um are you happy with being in Fight Fest? Are you, are you Absolutely. Ex excited? I, I think I think that our film premiering here alongside with uh, frankly, you know, the, the new Hatchet film and all of that, it, it it was just such great timing for all of it. We couldn't have planned it better and I'm very happy to have been here and the fans have been fantastic. That's awesome. Are you hanging around for anyone else's film? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we're going to go seeing Hatchet. I mean, that's that's something that I, I think everyone wants to go see, right? <laughs> yeah, me too.